How to make a website on Webador easy tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at Webador and how you can build your own website simply using Webador. So let's get into it. Now, there are so many complicated website builders out there. You have WordPress and you have web hosting, you have domain names, and all of that can be simplified with the Webador platform. And you can easily create your own website for the lowest price possible. So to get started, all you have to do is go on ahead, go to webador.co.uk, and then you can click on get started on the top right over here. Once you do that, you're going to choose what kind of website you are looking to build so let's say that i want to build a portfolio website for my art so what i would do is i would just click on website if you want to build a e-commerce store so if you want to have the shopping feature on your website then you're gonna go ahead and click on web shop and if you want to open a blog just click on blog so we're gonna continue with a simple website then you're gonna add the title for your website so let's say this is going to be jane's art gallery so after you have entered your title, you're just going to click on continue and then enter your email address and password. And once you have done that, your website will be ready to be created. So once you have the specific website in mind, what you're just going to do is you can go on ahead and click on new website and then enter the website name. And then you're just going to go on ahead, verify that you're not a robot, click on create a website over here. And once you do that, you have multiple different templates to start with. So you can see there are so many different templates that you can pick from. And on your top, you can actually go on ahead and select the kind of template that you want. So you can filter out templates. Let's say I just want to view the portfolio and CV ones. So they're going to give me all of these different templates that I can pick from. And your base design can simply just get started, can be based on the template. And then you can just go on ahead and customize however you want. So I'm going to continue with this one. So I'm going to click on start with this template and then you can register your domain name but we're just going to skip that for now and then you can go on ahead and choose the plan but we're going to continue with the free version for now and once you have done that you can begin building your website on Webador. So now we are on their Webador website editor and the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this image so I'm going to click on edit and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on new image and then you can upload your own images to from your PC or you can go on ahead and search for stock images as well. So I'm just going to search for abstract images. So I'm just going to take this image over here, click on save. And once I have done that, the new image has been added. You can also add extra images and have a scroll through image and you can also choose to add a dark background or not. So I'm just going to make it a normal image and then you can go on ahead and choose how you want your title to be displayed. So if you want it to be on the top, if you want there to be a center title. So I just want a center title. This is going to be the main banner. And then I'm just going to set this on this page only. This is not going to be applied to the rest of my pages and I'm going to click on save. And once I have done that I'm going on ahead and I'm going to edit the text so I'm just going to select the text over here and enter the text that I want so once I've entered the text you can also customize the text so you can underline it make it italic you can go on ahead and change the text color however you want so you can click on select and underline it like so you can change the font size and select multiple different options for your font so you have multiple different options and that is totally up to you i'm just going to save this as it is right now and then i am going to go on ahead and scroll down and then you can add the next item so let's say below that i want to add a divider so i'm just going to scroll on the left side of my screen i have all of my tools so i'm going to scroll into the structure and then i'm going to select divider and i'm going to drag and drop it over here and once i've added the divider what i'm going to do is i'm going to scroll down and i'm going to add photo album and below that i can add a photo album because this is like a, a portfolio for your art portfolio i can add a photo album or you can scroll down and on the bottom of your website so on the footer you can add your socials so i'm going to add these to my footer then you can add social icons. You can also add any physical location for your website. So let's say you have a website for your art studio. So you can add the map location from over here as well. So this is just my first page. Now after that, I can just select the menu. And this is the about page. So on the about page, I'm going to remove this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll back on top on the left side of my screen. I am going to enter a title. And then I'm going to change this and I'm going to name it our story. Then I'm just going to customize the text, so I'm just going to select this 
and I'm going to customize it like so and once I've done that I can go on ahead and drag and drop another text block below it and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to enter whatever text I want so you're going to add whatever text you want like so in your about section then you can create more pages as you go as well so now what you're going to do is you're going to click on your pages on the top of your screen and then you can see all of these pages these are from the template then you can click on new page and then you can choose whether you want it with the base banner or not so we're going to select it without the base banner and then you're going to go on ahead and click on save and now i've created the portfolio page so if i go back to the editor you can see i have the portfolio page and now i can open the portfolio page and then i can add uh, multiple different columns and images for my actual art whatever you are creating your website for you're going to add pages accordingly and once you have done that you can actually go into the design section and uh, customize the overall look of your or appearance of your website with a specific click so this will apply to all of your website pages and this will give you a cohesive design for all of your pages on your website and once you have done that you're going to click on publish over here you're going to choose a domain name now, if you go on ahead, you will get a professional domain name and they're going to give you multiple different suggestions and you can go on ahead and purchase their premium plan or you can click on the subdomain name where you can choose the free version where you will have .webador.co.uk and this is what the website is currently looking like. It's just a basic website with a basic image. You can customize it however you want once you have the base for your website down. Now, once you have done that, your website will be live and you can edit it accordingly and you can create multiple different websites on one simple Webador account. So you can see over here, I have two websites on my singular Webador account and you can manage them from your Webador account over here and view statistics for the website as well. So you will have the location of the visitors so to get detailed statistics. You do have to upgrade to the premium version, but you can see the overall page views and the total visitors for your website on Webador for free. And then you can click on my account for any of your account details. Now, if we go on ahead and take a look at the pricing and plans of Webador. So if you go on ahead and you have a basic free version and then they have a light pro and business version all starting at one pound and this is going to be the price for the first three months after the first three months you would be paying five pounds for the light version nine pounds for the pro version and 18 pounds for the business version of Webador. Now they will give you one free domain name on all three of the paid versions as well as a mailbox on the pro and business version and you have multiple different options like unlimited pages you have uh, responsive templates and features like mobile bars and ad free websites on the pro version and the business version so if you ever are looking to upgrade i would recommend the pro version over the light version for webador users and the pro version has all the basic features that you would need to run a successful and and optimized website so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video